is tonight's presidential debate in Houston, Texas. It was a debate that was contentious at times, substantive at times, and compelling most of the time. Action News reporter Sarah Bloomquist is live at the debate site, Texas Southern University. Sarah, you've got the full story. Jim, we're right here in the spin room where we expect some of the candidate surrogates, some of the candidates themselves to come step up to the microphones following this debate tonight. Again, the top 10 candidates taking the stage all together on this stage here in Houston tonight. And while they started with a message of unity, they sure didn't shy away from taking shots at each other. Some of those attacks were quite personal during this nearly three hour debate that tackled su uh, subjects ranging from criminal justice reform to health care to racism to immigration. The night began with opening statements and a message that this is a unified Democratic Party. And while there may be 10 candidates on this stage, they have one mission to defeat Donald Trump. Houston, we have a problem. This, we have a guy there that is literally running our country like a game show. He would rather lie than lead. The differences amongst us Democrats on the stage are not as great as the urgency for us to unite as a party. Early on, the candidates went head to head with some heated exchanges over their health care plans, including this back and forth between Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders over Sanders' Medicare for All plan. They're going to give back that money to the employee? Matter of fact, they will. Well, well let me tell you bill. something. For a socialist, you got to, for a socialist, you got a lot more confidence in corporate America than I do. And the debate got personal. Here, Julian Castro questioned Biden's mental capacity. Are you, are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? Being for are you forgetting already what you said just two minutes ago? This We're reminds everybody of what they cannot I, stand about Washington. Scoring I, points against each other. That's called a Democratic primary election. <laughs> Among many issues, the candidates were asked about gun control. Kamala Harris said this about her visit to El Paso. So they said, well, do you think Trump um, is responsible for what happened? And I said, well, look, I mean, obviously he didn't pull the trigger, but he's certainly been tweeting out the ammunition. And Beto O'Rourke gave an impassioned answer when talking about the recent mass shooting in his home state. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're not going to allow it to be used against our fellow Americans anymore. Over the remainder of the debate, the candidates focused less on each other and more on how they would tackle issues, including immigration. A system right now that cannot tell the difference in the threat posed by a terrorist, a criminal, and a 12-year-old girl is not a system that is keeping us safer and it is not serving our values. My father grew up on a peanut farm in Asia with no floor and now his son is running for president. That is the immigration story that we have to be able to share with the American people. And this note, ABC News did fact check Castro's attack on Biden tonight in his memory and found, in fact, that Castro had his facts wrong. Biden, as expected, did come under attack tonight and sure wasn't afraid to push back and sometimes forcefully at that. The next debate is coming up in October in Ohio. We could be back to 11 candidates uh, on that night or perhaps two nights again. We want to know who you think won this night. Who did the best in tonight's debate? Log on to the 6ABC Facebook page or my Facebook page and let us know.